The ecumenical clergy have been well represented in this project, and we have come together over the past months to craft together a statement that we have now at least 50 signatures on and would hope if you are a clergy related to our clergy organization, you will continue to add your signature as well. This is the joint statement of the religious community of Chicago's northern suburbs on the occasion of Justice Day, July 26, 2015. 50 years ago, standing right here on the village green, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King said, the clock of oppression is too great and the clock of destiny is ticking. We must rid ourselves of the belief that only time can solve the problem. It may well be that we will have to repent in this generation, not merely for the vitriolic words and violent actions of bad people, but for the appalling silence of the good people. As a collective body of religious leaders, we deplore and grieve the recent incidents of murderous hate in Charleston, Ferguson, Baltimore, and New York, and inflicted upon Sikh worshipers in Wisconsin, Trayvon Martin, Matthew Shepard, Ricky Birdsong, and the unnamed and less known. We also grieve the consequences of such hatred on both victims and perpetrators alike throughout the nation and the North Shore. A hatred long nurtured in attitudes of intolerance and prejudice born of misunderstanding arising from fear of the other, a fear of difference. As Dr. King said, History has presented us with a cosmic challenge. We must now learn to live together as brothers, or we will perish together as fools. Ultimately, the only way to begin to realize the dream of a diverse, multicultural, multiracial, and interfaith community living in peace and prosperity is to dwell together side by side. Dwelling in proximity to one another is not a panacea for attaining a just community. Through dwelling and sharing together, we can learn to affirm and celebrate each as a living embodiment of the one God. We can come to repent of our prejudice and discrimination, seek forgiveness and reconciliation, and bind together in a common future. We can realize that in fact there is no other, there is only us. Our goal in publishing this statement is to share the healing resources of our respected faith traditions and to declare our common commitment to developing a diverse, multicultural community where all may dwell in justice, respect, and peace. The long-term goal that must unite us is a commitment to realizing a just, inclusive, and diverse community. Toward this end, we commit ourselves to the Justice Project. The march continues. <laughs>